Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So this video will be about the concept of branches in Git, which is a very important concept. This will be a rather quick video, but that doesn't change anything at the importance of this topic. And first of all, I want to explain a little bit of theory about branches because I think I can show that a little bit better if I draw something here. So in the previous videos, you have learned a lot about commits in Git. So we made several commits here. So those are our single commits that we made here. Each of those is a commit. That is our first commit. That is our second commit. And so on. Let's do that one too, our third commit. And now the concept of branches is these commits somehow need to belong together. And they belong together on a single branch. And we already have that branch here, which is the master branch. So the default branch name in Git is master branch. Um, I think they wanted to change the name master branch. Right now they didn't, but maybe in the future they will do that. So depending on when you watch this video, maybe there is a different name for that default branch. But anyways, every Git project basically has a default branch. And on that default branch here, on that branch, there are basically our default commits. So if we commit something, those commits will be on that branch. But what we can do now with Git is we can create another branch or multiple branches basically for our project. So if we want to experiment with some changes and we don't want to affect the master branch with those changes or just want to implement um, any feature that shouldn't be on the master branch yet, that can be very useful if you work with many people on your project that basically every developer team has their own branch. Then we can just create a new branch. And let's say we are currently at the second commit. And when we now create a new branch, then the branch will basically be set to the stage of the second commit. So we will just have a new branch with its own commits here. And those commits here from our other branch won't affect the commits that come after the second commit of the master branch. And in Git, every branch needs its own name, such as the master branch here. So that is our master branch. And then we can give our other branch here a name, for example, experiment. And let's say we are currently on the experiment branch. If we commit something in the experiment branch, then that commit will just be appended to the commits of that experiment branch. And of course, not to the commits of our master branch here. And of course, there are no limits to how many branches we can create. We could also create more branches. If we are currently in the experiment branch, then there would just be another branch with its own commits. So in the end, we just have our master branch here with those commits. Then we have our experiment branch with those commits and our other branch that doesn't have a name yet with those commits. So just that you see which commits belong to which branch here. But let's actually see how we can create and switch branches from within Android Studio. So there we are back in Android Studio. And if we now take a look in our version control tab here at the log tab, then you can see that our head, that yellow thing here is currently at revert. This is our fourth commit. So at our latest commit basically. But you can also see that this yellow thing doesn't overlap that green thing because we right now we checked out that commit. And whenever we check out a commit, that means we don't check out a branch at the same time because we can also check out branches to switch them basically. And if we now right click on that and hold on check out, you can see we can either check out the commit itself or we can check out the master branch, which will just basically switch to the latest branch of the master branch. And if we now click on master here, then you can see that yellow thing and that green thing is currently overlapping. And that means we are on the master branch and not on that local commit anymore. But let's actually create our own separate branch from the terminal at first. In here, I'm going to write git branch and then followed by the name the branch should have. So just experimental in that case, for example, as I showed you in the example before, if you now press enter, 
then nothing will happen in the command line, but it will create that branch in the background. To see all of our branches, we can type git branch minus a for all branches, basically press enter. And then you can see it will print out two branches, master branch and experimental. And you can also see that little asterisk here at the master branch, which just notes our current branch, the current branch we are in. And to switch from our master branch to our experimental branch, we can simply use the checkout command just as we used it for the commits. So git checkout followed by the branch name experimental here, press enter. And then you can see switch branch to experimental, blah, blah, blah. And if we now type git branch minus a, then you can see now we are at the experimental branch here and that asterisk is at that branch. So let's actually make a commit inside of this experimental branch. So whatever we write now in our code won't affect our master branch. Instead, it will affect our experimental branch. So if we write a print line statement here and write experimental and commit that, go to that check mark here. And no, we don't want that commit message. Just write experimental commit. Then you can already see at that experimental here that this commit will go inside of this experimental branch. So let's click on commit here. Then we committed those files. If we now click on our version control tab, then you can see here is our experimental commit. And you can see that we are currently with our hat with that yellow thing at our latest commit in our experimental branch. But our master branch ends here at revert. This is our fourth commit. So with that change we made right here, that print line experimental, we didn't affect the master branch. So if we go back to our terminal and type git checkout master again, so we switched back to the master branch, then wait a little moment. And there you can see our print line statement is now gone because we're not at the experimental branch anymore and that local a local change print line statement is also gone because we didn't commit that basically in our master branch. But the important thing here is that this experimental print line statement is now gone because we committed that to our experimental branch and not to the master branch. And let's actually see how that works from within Android Studio without the command line to create branches and to switch them because that is fairly easy. In the bottom right corner, you can see the current branch here Currently, we are on the master branch. If we click on that, then you can see we have our local branches master and experimental. And if we now click on experimental, for example, then we have several options with that branch. And if we now click on checkout, then you can see we switched the branch to that experimental branch and our local change lines and that experimental line is back. And with the same option here in the bottom right corner, we can also create a new branch click on new branch here, choose a name, for example, YouTube branch, whatever. That doesn't make any sense here, but that is not a real project. Usually you just choose a name that describes the branch, the feature you're currently developing on that branch or what that branch is basically for. But in this case, I'm just going to call it YouTube branch, click on create. And you can see if you do that from Android Studio, it will automatically check out that branch. So we are currently in that YouTube branch and whatever changes we make here won't affect our master branch and our experimental branch. And that's already it for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please leave me a like, comment below what you think about this and also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I noticed that about 53% of those who watch my videos haven't even subscribed to my channel. So please do that. It's only one click and you can do me a huge favor with that. And you will also get lots of Android contents, regular Android content. And yeah, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.